So, is your game look somewhere around like this? And you want to make your game to look like this? Well, today I'll be showing the best settings in Blood Hunt to get more frames. We will go over all of these settings, but for now, we'll start on gameplay and move through. If you don't want any of your teammates not to talk in chat and you want to mute it, you can have this check. Pretty much what it does, if you don't want people talking in the general chat, you can have this on and by doing this, it'll mute them. Auto swap default pistol. Pretty much what this setting does, if you're carrying two guns and one of them is your default pistol, and you pick up another gun it will automatically get rid of that pistol so that you have two brand new weapons i would recommend having this on so that you can get rid of the pistol because with all honesty that pistol is horrible now for the next two this will all depend on your preference if you prefer to toggle aim try enough hold to aim because if you have this on you will have to hold your aiming down sight if you don't like automatically sprinting turn off auto sprint now for rotate minimap i have this on pretty much what it does is that your character is always in the middle and always looking north i recommend having this on because it's easier for you to navigate and tell like where the enemies are without like having to jungle around like where it's north and where it's west you know what i'm saying having that off is a little harder for you to navigate around because as you can see the only thing that is moving is your character model to me i don't really like this because it's a little harder for me to navigate around but if you like this and it's easier for you to do this this way have this off now for language i have audio language in japanese because it's tough now for text language this will all depends on your language if you can read english go for it if you can read japanese go for it whichever one you can read on now for sensitivity this will all depends on you because depending on how fast or slow you want it to be this is where you can navigate it and do your stuff but there are some stuff that you might want to turn on one of those is hold jump to climb i recommend having this on because there are some occasions where you don't want to climb the wall but instead just wall slide now for hold for inventory i have this on if you don't have it on pretty much it'll just stay like that and you can't move around because your cursor is like active and it won't make you turn around and when you're in panic mode this is not gonna help so i would highly recommend you having this on so that even if you panic the inventory will close now for weapon cycle style i have no clue what really this is i left it on ranged weapons i'm not sure if this is default but i have it on that now for gamepad this is pretty much keyboard but on controllers so you do what you gotta do now moving on to the good stuff now for display mode i would either put it on borderless or full screen now if you prefer to play with full screen it's up to you i don't really see it like any major big difference with the border or the full screen but i do have to say when i did a test earlier the borderless give me a little bit more frames now moving on to resolution this will all depends on your monitor if you have a 1440p make sure to have 1440p if you have a 4k have it on 4k i have a 1080p so i had that on but if you do prefer to play on stretch rest go ahead however i don't really know the best stretch rest for blood hunt so yeah now for vsync have that off because it gives you less frames when you have it on now for frame rate limit this will all depends on your monitor what i mean by that is make sure to know what hertz your monitor is on for example if it's on 60 hertz have it on 60 if it's on 90 have it on 90 if it's on 120 have it on 120 and so on and so forth if you have a monitor that is higher than 144 put it on unlimited just to let you guys know if your frame rate is higher than your hertz sometimes it's gonna feel like you're skipping frames that's because your monitor can't keep up with the frame so make sure to have the frame rate limit to set to whatever your monitor hertz is on frame rate smoothing i'm not really sure what it does i'm guessing it just smooth out the frame rate i did some tests before recording this video and i didn't really see any major difference where it drops your frame so it's up to you if you want this on or off now for brightness to me i had this on 0.75 having this on one makes the game a little too bright as you can see it looks a little foggy and of course you don't really want it to be on 0.5 because as you can see it's really dark and you don't want that because there are some times where people are lurking around in the shadows and you might not see them and you get beamed from the back the best brightness in my opinion is probably 0.75 as you guys can see this brightness is not too bright or too dark now moving on i have amd fsr 1.0 off pretty much this is just give you like the quality of your game it looks it doesn't really look any different in fact it looks kind of goofy in my opinion so i have this off and for resolution scale i have this on 100 i recommend having this on 100 because even if you put this on the lowest point it doesn't really affect your frame rate and by the way this is what it looks like if you put this on the lowest point it's it pretty much looks like you're on android now moving on to the advanced graphics so these are my settings i have my view this is on ultra material quality on low texture quality on low texture filtering on eight times effects low foliage low lighting quality ultra volumetric fog quality medium ambient occlusion off screen space reflection off shadow quality low anti-aliasing off 
subsurfacing scattering off motion blur off now these settings that i told you pretty much made the game more brighter so that it's easier for you to see people if you guys didn't know this yet the game is mostly played on nighttime and at nighttime it's really dark so dark skins in this game has a really good advantage so having these graphic settings that i told you it will make it so that dark skins will be easier to spot now moving on we got the chromatic aberration i have this off and i think having this on will make your frame rate go down so make sure to turn this off same goes with the film game it's pretty unnecessary because having this on it might make it harder for you to see people now for the most important setting of all the bloom the bloom pretty much determines how bright your screen will be as of right now i have the bloom on ultra this is what it looks like having this on ultra setting and this is what the game looks like having it off and as you guys can see the game is a little less brighter like i said earlier dark skins have a really good advantage because the game is taking place at night time so dark skins blend in pretty well in the dark so having the bloom setting on ultra will make it so that it's easier for you to spot players with dark skins or just see players in general now for lens flares i have this on off and for light shafts i have this on check mark if you have a lower end pc you don't have to copy every setting that i told you because it could just lead you to getting less frames but if you do have a lower end pc i would recommend you on focusing on view distance lighting quality and bloom those three are the most important settings of the mob because they're the one that determines how bright your game is and how far you can see so if you do have a lower pc make sure to prioritize those three now moving on for keybinds this is like the sensitivity one this will all depend on you but if you do want to copy my keybinds here you go now for gamepad i don't use a controller so i don't really have a settings for this but if you want to use the default one here you go this will all depend on you but if you do want to copy someone go ahead now moving on to audio i have the master volume on 0.7 because i don't want the game to be too loud or too quiet the most important one in my opinion is the sound effects volume people climbing up walls is pretty quiet but also not at the same time i recommend you having this on one so that you can hear those people climbing up easily now for music volume this will be on your preference if you want the music or not you can turn it up or turn it down now for video volume it's pretty much sound effects but for video now for dialogue volume i have this on 0.5 now for background audio i'm not really sure what it does it may sound self-explanatory but i did some testing and i didn't really see any major difference so this is up to you if you want this on or off now for audio mix preset this one is depending on how you want to hear your game as you can see there are five options that you can pick i have this on headphones because one i'm using a headphone and two it's easier for me to hear people this way now for voice shout volume and mic volume this will really depend on how quiet or how loud your teammates are and for the mic volume this will depend on how loud or quiet you are so if you're a loud one turn this down and if you're a quiet one turn this up now for voice chat i have this on i don't really recommend having this off because having to talk to your teammate is really good and teamwork is really key in this game if you're playing in trios or duos as for push to talk i have this on now for the voice chat input and output this one is pretty self-explanatory the input is pretty much your mic and the output is your headphones if you're a streamer and you don't want people stream sniping you make sure to check all the boxes that you don't want people seeing however there is one thing that i don't recommend you turning on and that is to hide the minimap i don't recommend you turning this on because one it tells you where the storm is going to be two it tells you where the gun shops are where the medic shops are this and that three it also tells you where the enemies are so long story short don't turn this on even if you're a streamer or not those are the best settings to blood hunt to get more frames and competitive advantage this video helps you out make sure to let me know if not also let me know so that i know what i did wrong but anyway thank you for watching take care of yourselves goodbye